go. <laughs> that means go. go. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Eastside Democrats for uh, hosting this event and letting me come and speak. And uh, apologies, apologies for the delay. Uh, being the son of both a educator and a man that pulled himself up by his bootstraps, I've come to learn um, that education is a great equalizer. And when um, elected to um, the Moines School Board, I will make sure that equalizer works for everyone. Uh, three things that I would like to uh, do when elected to the Des Moines School Board is bring transparency to all Des Moines School Board decisions, bridge the academic achievement gap, and also implement a culture of inclusion um, and equity from top down to um, bottom for the uh, Des Moines School Board. The uh, most important thing to me is the uh, closing the academic achievement gap. Uh, so often we see that there's a certain subsection of the uh, school that's achieving while the other part isn't. And I believe by um, training the uh, teachers for cultural sensitivity, we'll be able to um, allow those teachers to identify with their student body so that they can teach them more effectively. Uh, thank you again, guys, for uh, allowing me to have the time to speak here today. My name is Deanna Langford, and I am seeking to represent my district, which is District 2 on the Des Moines Public School Board. I know some of you all may be a part of my district and some not, um, but I still wanted to have the opportunity to speak with you all this evening. Um, I mean, just a little bit about me. I did grow up on the east side of town, actually just on the other side of the bridge. I graduated from East High in 2009 and went on to the University of Iowa. My background is in social work, but you all are probably most concerned with why I'm running. And that's because I had the opportunity to organize or act as a court to work as a community organizer for a period of time last year. And one of the most important things that I learned from that experience was what power is and how we wield it. And power that is what I, what I learned about power is that when we're present at the decision making table, that's when we have power. And if we're not there, then we don't have a voice and we don't have any power. And so that's why I'm running because I want to represent the entire community and all of our voices on that Des Moines Public School Board. Really quickly, the three things that I would like to lift up all on the board are consistent community collaboration. So how do we make sure that the school board is going beyond um, the weekly or bi-weekly meetings on Tuesdays? How are we intentionally going out to different spaces within the community like this, like churches, like PTA meetings, like sporting events, and listening to parents and their families and their concerns? The second is equity and student achievement. So we know that not all of our students are achieving at the same level. Some are doing better than others. And I want to ensure on that school board that we're making sure that all of our students, regardless of where they come from or what they look like um, or how much socioeconomic status or what, how much means they have, they're represented and they have the opportunity to access a quality education. And the third is career and college readiness for all of our students. So the district, from a school board perspective, has the opportunity to set the tone and the focus for where the district allocates its resources, its time, and its energy. And one of the things that they decided to do was focus on increasing and improving graduation rates over the last couple of years. And they have. Our graduation rates have improved to around 82%. But now I think it's time to take that one step further. And so how do we make sure that all of our students aren't just graduating, but they're coming out prepared with the skills that they need? So when you look at the ACT, Benchmark, um, the ACT has four benchmarks that say that students are proficient in reading, math, science, and only 11% of our students are currently meeting all four of those benchmarks. And I, we all know that standardized testing has its flaws and it's definitely not the best indicator of student success. But if only 11% of our students across the district are graduating, um, being proficient in those four key areas, then we have some work to do. And I'd like to work to see us collaborate with more companies and workforce training programs in the community in order to our high schools offering students the, so they have the opportunity to see the full range of opportunities that are out there and they're prepared when they graduate, whether they choose to go on to a four-year institution or they choose to go into an apprenticeship program or just choose to enter the workforce. So thank you all for your time. And if anything I said resonates with you, then I'm asking for your support on September the 8th. Thank you.